hello friends this is ankit and uh, this is the second uh, video into you know, video lecture series of uh, numpy python uh, library so in the last uh, video we have seen that uh, how uh, you can create how many different ways you can create uh, uh, numpy array so now it's time to uh, go ahead uh, so uh, let's see what uh, we are going to learn in this uh, uh, video so I have uh, uh, described uh, what are the operation uh, we can perform on the top of uh, array what we created in the uh, last lecture so uh, the topics related to indexing and the reshaping of uh, arrays how we can find the maximum minimum uh, of the array how can we sort the array what are the basic operation like addition subtraction multiplication we can perform on the top of numpy array and uh, some of the statistic calculation like uh, median and uh, standard deviation how we can perform easily with the help of numpy uh, package okay so let's start with the uh, indexing uh, okay so I'll uh, mark it like a uh, array operation numpy first let me import uh, numpy package so let's see how indexing works uh, basically inside the numpy array accessing element okay so let's create a very uh, simple uh, numpy array array of size 3 comma 4 so it has a 3 rows and 4 columns So let's print x I think I have done a uh, little mistakes here Oh, sorry actually we have to give uh, the stop number from uh, which G from 0 to suppose let's take uh, 15 uh, this much um, 0 to 14 it will print the number now let us uh, uh, reshape it to don't worry about this reshape function we'll learn uh, later about that uh, reshaping so what I have done here actually uh, I have uh, generated an array whose element range from 0 to 14 15 is always excluded the last number and I have reshaped it into 3 cross 5 so it has a 3 rows and a uh, 5 columns so I have a brand new uh, brand new array of uh, mm, 3 rows and a 5 columns so let's see how we can access the individual elements of uh, this array so suppose uh, uh, we want to find the second second row and third column So how we can find the second row and the third column so see second row means this is the first row this is the second row so we can access with the help of array indexing one and the third column will be the second because indexing starts from zero so it should print the first 
second row and it's a third column so it should print the seven okay that's correct now suppose we want to find all rows of the third column so all rows now whenever we want to uh, access all rows or all columns you just need to put the colon so it will access every rows and we just need the third column so third column will be accessed by the number 2 so see it has all rows and a third column so it is a 2 7 and 12 let's go other way around suppose we want all columns of the first row so first row will be accessed by 0 and all column so it has a printed 0 1 2 3 4 so in this way we can uh, uh, access the different elements of uh, array now uh, uh, let us see the another uh, topic like uh, reshaping reshaping array so let's create first the uh, uh, simple numpy array array of range uh, 28 okay let's print it so now uh, s if you print the size of this array uh, shape of this array sorry it has not displayed uh, anything size but it is of 28 rows and a one column now suppose we want this uh, variable y which is of numpy array of size 28 rows and one column we want to uh, uh, make it four rows into seven seven column so four rows and seven column itself is a so all those 28 number okay sorry actually i, I rather than a range i will keep it like a uh, array so it has created a small mistakes okay so it has generated all uh, 0 to 27 number now suppose we print the shape of this so it has a 28 rows and a one column now 28 rows suppose we want to redistribute into four rows and a seven column so in this way we can reshape the array so you can see it has redistributed all those 28 number into four rows into seven columns so each row has a total seven numbers are associated but uh, be careful that w whatever the numbers are associated uh, are already available inside the data that has to be perfectly fit with the multiplication of number of rows and column of the resize array you want now let us uh, reshape it to seven uh, seven rows into four columns same also we can do it let's try to uh, s uh, shape it into uh, reshape into some weird dimension which do not fit this uh, 28 number correctly so let's do it this way so it has thrown us error because the size is in mismatching so we are trying to uh, accumulating this 28 number into 12 element uh, array so size is mismatching but instead of 6 if you put a 14 then it will create the r r um, 2 rows and 14 columns array ok so uh, this is all about uh, reshaping and uh, how you can access the individual elements of an array uh, let's see how what are the different uh, operations uh, we can uh, perform on the top of it uh, so uh, basic operations like uh, max min kind of thing 
so uh, we already have a brand new array of y y okay let's uh, uh, let's reshape y reshape to 4 cross 7 okay so let's print a and it has a 4 cross 7 now suppose we want to find the maximum value out of this array so just need to provide with max function as argument a so it has printed the 27 for us the same way we want to find the minimum value it should print a 0 so, okay so so out of all this uh, element contain independent of rows and columns whatever numbers of elements are there it will find a max and mean value out of them so and this is independent of any dimension now suppose along the rows only uh, we we want a, a maximum value so let's see how we can do it along the row now if you want to find along the row so maximum value so it should give result like a 6 13 20 27 uh, so this is the dimension axis axis is equal to 1 so across all all row it will try to find the maximum value so see it has uh, printed 6 13 20 27 uh, the same way uh, if you want uh, same thing across the column across the column so uh, it should print total 7 value because we have a total the 7 value and uh, for the column we need to provide x is zeros x is equal to 0 so it should print 21 22 23 24 so in this way same operation we can perform on max or mean uh, with the help of axis also okay so uh, these are related to max how to find max and mean uh, let's see how mm, how we can find the argument of maximum and the minimum so np dot argument of maximum so at which indexing position we have a maximum number is available so it has printed uh, 27 because at the location 20 indexing 27 we have a maximum value basically now the same thing suppose we want across the all columns so if you see uh, across the all uh, columns there is a 0 1 2 3 the third co third third row so every column in which the third row has having a maximum value the same way you can perform uh, where the minimum occurs in your array so it is at a zero location so this way we can perform uh, where your uh, maximum and minimum occurs into uh, array let's see what are the other uh, things uh, we can uh, do with the basic op another basic other basic operation uh, we can perform so uh, uh, let's see uh, how simple vector or matrix uh, related add subtract we can perform uh, on the top of it okay so let's create a one brand new array of uh, np dot a range nine cross reshape three cross three same way uh, we can perform so we have a two array of 
zero one two three four five six seven eight now suppose we uh, we need to uh, do the addition of this uh, two matrices just simply write a plus b and it will uh, do all parallelism uh, for us a minus b will perform all uh, element to element wise subtraction a multiplication of b will perform element by element wise multiplication so these are all operation is uh, element by element uh, uh, wise now suppose we want to do a uh, kind of matrix multiplication or matrix uh, mm, operate uh, matrix mm, multiplication or matrix uh, kind of dot products and all those thing so let us uh, create uh, uh, we have already a is equal to and b is also somewhat similar okay now we want to perform the matrix multiplication so uh, numpy package is giving one dot uh, functionality and bot is having a dimension 3 cross uh, 3 so in output of matrix multiplication it will result in a 3 cross 3 array uh, to us so okay so it has gi uh, immediately given us the 3 cross 3 array so this way we can perform a uh, uh, lot of basic operation on the numpy array and uh, uh, frankly speaking friends this is a very uh, fast uh, matrix manipulation uh, uh, library compared to built in uh, python uh, functionality uh, whatever is available uh, rather than using for loop and iterate it over across all element it uh, just parallelizing all those element and uh, in a parallel way it will uh, do all those calculation uh, for us so i hope you enjoy this uh, uh, video please like and uh, subscribe to me thanks for watching